Hey YouTube world, this is Mr. Capra 43 and today I'm going to review on going to be a lifesaver if you use any other email besides Gmail. So for all my fellow Android users, especially long term, the one issue that you probably notice if you use anything besides Gmail email client is that POP3 and IMAP emails do not work really well in Android. Uh, the bugs that I have noticed and have encountered myself personally has been a new email comes in, it gets uh, dated January 1st 1969 or some variation of that ends up on the bottom of the list so you have to scroll all the way through your email to find it um, you read an email an hour later it refreshes it saying that particular email is still unread as well as 28 more um, and that issue is actually really prevalent on hotmail accounts and I think there's a Microsoft thing which basically prevents it from syncing read and unread um, read messages um, from your um, phone to the Hotmail account. Basically, um, I don't think there's really any way for an Android device, if it's read on your phone, for it to be read on your computer. Um, and because of that, the phone refreshes it. When it refreshes it, it sees that there's still unread messages on Hotmail, so that's why it pulls it up again on the Android device. Um, the other thing, too, is that it takes a really long time if you're, if you're doing HTML email it takes a good period of time for it to load it up um, those are just the main ones that I've noticed that have really been troublesome so I've been looking for an email client to basically um, replace the the, e the regular default email that's on um, vanilla Android so mail droid um, the one thing that interests me was the fact that in his description he says that he wrote this code from scratch. He didn't use any of the email um, to make it. So that really interests me because I was like, okay, well, this is at least shouldn't have the same problems as the regular vanilla email. So let's get into the application. So this is MailDroid. MailDroid, it will, if you have more than one client, um, I just have a um, nickname for each one of these, so it has a nickname on there, but if it wasn't, it would just show your, email, your screen name, and I mean your email address um, written out. Um, if you have more than one client, it lists them out like this way. Um, you can pick what color it shows up in the, in the inbox, so that, when you, that way when you have the combined inbox, you know wh which email is coming from. Um, when you get a new email, it puts in parentheses and tells you, you know, you know, parentheses one, parentheses two, you get the idea. Um, there's bookmarks as well. Uh, drafts, outbox, and send from this device. Now, this is not synced with the folders from the email client. It actually, the the man, he even said, he said that he's, there's no way for him to be able to, um, at least right now in this application, there's no way for this application to um, sync your folders that are found on your like, Yahoo account, your Hotmail account, um, etc., to sync it with the um, this this um, application, so these bookmarks are just going to be um, emails that you uh, the drafts that you wrote from this phone. It will be saved onto um, the it will be saved within the application, so that way you can access again if you're on the phone. Anyway, let's get into the application. So this is MailDroid. MailDroid is really great really it works really well divides everything by the date and things like that and the one thing that you're gonna love about it is if you look in the application well let me go back sorry about that I didn't mean to click into the list but not that just happens if you click on and it's a client. Don't don't make that discourage you. But if you click on here, we'll do Circuit City. Yeah, there's not the store's not around, but the um the they still have a website. We'll go. We'll try to get speed again. This was acting stupid. But you can pinch the zoom. Now this is not something that's found in the Gmail client. Um, at least in my knowledge, oh my gosh, I clicked this. Sorry. Um, according to the the creator of this, he said that the Gmail with HTML files can pinch the zoom. 
if any person has has been able to do it, let me know, cause I have not been able to do it at all. Um, cause I actually had emailed him and said thank you for pinch the zoom, and he was saying that it's in there. Um, and I tried it, but it's still the only way to do. I know is that you can you can't even zoom in. I just have to scroll left and right to find it. Um, anyway, um, in terms of preference, I mean in terms of options, you have preferences. Um, just breaking them down. First is the preloaded index. What that basically allows you to do, it it gives you the option to you can either save, don't save the email to the mail text, save and index the open mail. So for example, if you open up a mail, it will save it. It will um, basically cache it to the SD card, or you can preload it so that anytime you get a new email when it comes in, um, before you actually um, read it, it will cache it onto the um it will save the contents on it onto the SD card so that way it's a lot faster for it to open up an email. Also if you for example don't have internet connect a three G connection or Wi Fi connection where you are, you can still read your email on um offline because it's preloaded onto the SD card. Um you can set a limit to how much it can preview. I have mine um set to no limit. Um you can have a dark theme or light theme, um the font size, you can the default the default font size was with within the email. If it has a light theme, you can have alternate row colors. You can have a combined inbox or not if you don't want to. Um, these are just a few lock features he has. For example, the default compose account, the default account to open. Um, those are in the the paid version of it. Um, there's signatures. You know, basically the standard stuff. Um, one of the things I would like to mention is that he has something called rules, which is nice. And what it does is basically you can set um, certain things um, to modify the, the settings of the email. Um, the basic example I can say is, if let's say for example, if you have sounds coming in for email, and while you're sleeping, you don't want to hear a sound for every email you get at night. You can have it so that it's silent. It's silent during the time that you're sleeping, and you can set the times, the time frame for it. Um, I have to say that he's doing a really good job with this application. Um, they had like one big problem that was plaguing it, which was um, if you even if you read an email, the notification wouldn't go away. And he addressed that in about like two, three updates ago. So he's actually really, you know, really working, really working hard to make this application um, pretty much perfect. The only complaint that I have with the free one, anyway, is the fact that there is no way for you to go to the next email within an email that's in the um paid paid version which is just ridiculous but um i guess this gives you incentive to pay to pay for the application but i do say you should support this app this guy because he's really doing a really good job um if you're using yahoo account um the big the difference between the two is that the yahoo account will allow you to access the folders that you have created on your on your computer for your email like if you make you know like a um you know if you basically any email that you can, if you make a folder for them and you organize them in that way, you can access them in the, in the official Yahoo application. And this one you can't, like I said before. Um, but you do gain pinch of zoom, and you also and you also get access to offline, um, offline access to your email, as well as a lot faster access to your email when you click on it. And another thing too is that this thing takes a lot less battery, at least to me, than the Yahoo one. I mean, the Yahoo one constantly is running, and my battery used to get used to fill it. You know, because Yahoo was always running, um, and this is basically, um, to me, I noticed that it takes a lot less, a lot less use of my um, my memory than the Yahoo one does as well. Um, Hotmail, this is really the only way to go. Um, the only two ways I know is to do it through the email, do it through the corporate email. Um, both of them give me the same bugs. Um, both of them are so long to load. Both of them still do that unread message um, nonsense, and both of them still do the. Um, the first, the main, the regular default one does the the, the 1969 bug. Um, this one I haven't had those issues, even though it it's still unread on my Hotmail account on the computer. It doesn't grab those emails back on the phone. If it's read right on the phone, it's read right on the phone. That's it. You're not gonna get that same email back again. You know because it's unread on the computer. Um, I believe. That is an uh, issue with Microsoft because Yahoo, if you read it here, it's going to read on your on the Yahoo account. Um, it's only my Hotmail that gives me that issue. But if you're using Hotmail, this is the only way you're going to be able to access. This is really the main way and the easiest way to use Hotmail on your Android device. 
um, the only way I know that, you know, the only way I'm going to use it anyway. Um, and Yahoo, this is just basically a cleaner, easier way to use an official Yahoo application. Um, so I would definitely, definitely recommend this if you're using anything that's POP3 or IMAP, or basically anything non-Gmail. And if you're using Gmail, um, there are pros and cons for the Gmail application. Um, you do get um, pinch to zoom with this application, but you don't get priority inbox. Um, and I believe that's the biggest one. Oh, and you and then you don't get access to all the folders in the regular official Gmail. You get access to every folder that you have in your Gmail account. So, I mean, there are pros and cons to each one, but um, I recommend this at least for non-email. I definitely recommend it. So, anyway, this is Mr. Capra 43 signing off. Have a nice day.